Now, this should be the first thing that most people do, and this is where you're going to set up your auto saves. Uh, just make sure that these are checked on because they're going to save you a ton of time and headache in the future if you ever do have a crash with any of your drawings and lose what you've worked on. Now, the intervals are going to be more of a personal preference. Uh, by default, they're typically at 10 minutes. Um, many users will kind of up that to maybe 15 or 20, depending on what you're working on and how often you tend to have crashes. Uh, having often saves is nice, but saving often with a big or uh, kind of heavy duty CAD file can be kind of time consuming and you're going to get this lag or freeze when it does the autosave and having that every 10 minutes on a big file can actually be more detrimental than beneficial. So you're going to be able to set that setting to whatever you like. You can type it in. It's in minutes. So I've just changed it to 15. Now, leaving everything else here default will be fine. You do typically want to make note of what your file extension is for temporary files. But I'll also link a video down below where I go into depth on how to recover these autosave files and what you can do with them in AutoCAD, as well as how to recover your drawings that you may have lost or don't have an autosave for. That video is going to be super helpful. All right, so next up, while we're already in our options menu, the second customization that I always change with every new install is going to dark mode. Now, I'm going to change it to light so you can see the difference, and I'll show you what the background looks like as well if it were ever changed back to light. So you can see already it's much brighter and I find for any designers that work in the software for long periods, especially if this is your main career or job, you're going to get really tired of a bright white screen staring at you all day. So changing these to dark mode as well as a custom uniform darker background. I'm just using 36 as my color right now, but you can change it to anything. I typically recommend a gray or dark color or shade. Uh, this is going to save your eyes the most. So I go into these two settings. So again, that is the colors button here. Choose uniform background and I'm going to change this. You can use the select color and you can just drag this up and down. You can pick any color really but I tend to be somewhere in this range here of like 35 to like 60 or 70 uh, across the three RGB colors. 